What's going on everyone? This is Kevin Breeze here, coming at you with my unboxing and first impressions video of the new mobile R1. So this device is brand new to the market and it's available for $169.99. This device is designed to be rugged and waterproof and it's meant to withstand harsh conditions. Now before we dig in here, I did want to go over some of the specifications which are listed on the back of the box. So this has a 5 inch HD IPS display, a 1.5 inch quad core CPU from MediaTek, a rear camera coming in at 8 megapixels, a front camera coming in at 2 megapixels, it has dual SIM, dual standby, there's 2 gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal storage, and it has a massive 4000 milliamp hour internal battery. So let's cut off some of this plastic here. And I'd like to thank New Mobile for being kind enough to send this out to me. It was great meeting them at the Consumer Electronics Show in early January in Las Vegas. All right, so just slide off the top here. And we have the phone itself, right front and center. We're gonna start by putting this off to the side and we'll see what else is included in the box. Looks like we have a SIM removal tool here. We have a getting started with your R1 guide. We have a micro USB cable for charging and data transfer. We have the wall adapter, so just one USB port on this wall adapter. The wall adapter does have new branding on it. And of course the actual R1 itself. So it comes with some plastic on the front, it just goes over the specifications again. You can see that this is military standard with shock and drop proof protection. The display does come in at 1280 by 720 so it's a 720p display. Now we'll peel this plastic off. And it looks like we do actually get kind of a, another screen protector layer here with the device. And we'll remove the plastic on the back side here too. Now I'm not sure if this plastic on the top layer here is meant to be a permanent screen protector or if this is something that New expects you to take off after you open up the device. But if this is meant to be permanent, you can see that around the camera hole here, it's kind of already starting to peel off. So I'll probably end up completely removing this plastic here on the front. Let's power this on. And there we go, new, powered by Android. Now while that's booting up, we'll kind of go over a little tour here. So up top, you can see we have that earpiece and we have the two megapixel front facing camera. Down below, we have the traditional Android navigation buttons which are located off the display. On the right side here, we have a dedicated camera shutter button which is great to see. We have a power button and we have the volume rockers. And while we're at it, I'm gonna tap on start, skip, Skip for now for the Wi-Fi. Continue. Next. Next. Not now for password. Skip anyway. Agree. Next. More. Accept. All right, and then on the left side here, we have the port for the SIM card and the micro SD card. On the top here, we have a little flap that conceals the headphone jack. On the bottom side, we have the flap that conceals the micro USB port, and we have the microphone. And on the back side here, we have new mobile branding. It says IP68 certified, H2O submersible. We have the speaker here on the back, and we have that 8 megapixel rear facing camera with the flash. So, so far, just using this device for several minutes, I'm really impressed with the durability here. I mean, it really looks like this device has a case on it, but it doesn't. This is the actual body of the phone. And this rubber here actually feels really good to the touch. It doesn't feel cheap by any means. It really feels like a high quality device, despite it coming in at $169.99. I also love the rugged look of it. I really like the way that the materials look on the back. It just looks like the kind of phone you'd find in like an action movie or something like that. 
And I think it's really cool how they were able to kind of blend in style and protection. Now let's see what bloatware is installed. So, so far just on the home screen here, we just have these Google applications and that's it. Swiping up, it looks like, I don't know what cell broadcast is, uh, but we have the camera app, uh, file manager, FM radio. I mean, for the most part, it looks like stock Android. It doesn't look like there's too much here that's unusual or added in by new. This device runs Android 8.1.0 out of the box. And let's take a look at what wallpapers are pre-installed. So we go to wallpapers. And it looks like just a bunch of like outdoorsy looking wallpapers, mountains and people skiing and a sled dog and bridges and different things like that. So that's kind of interesting, pretty cool. Oh, I like that background. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Wow. Yeah, there's some cool ones there. And then I always like to set the display timeout to like 10 minutes because usually when I'm doing the reviews and stuff of different devices, I'm going to have the screen on for a long time. But cool, good stuff. So this concludes my unboxing video of the new mobile R1. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to sub to my channel and like this video. And if you want to buy the new mobile R1 right now, then definitely take a look at the link in the video description, as that's my Amazon affiliate link, where you can buy this device on Amazon for $169.99. Or maybe they changed the price, so who knows. So you should definitely check out that link to see the current pricing for the R1. But thanks again for watching, stay tuned for my full review, and I'll see you in the next video.